Hey, it's Evgeny here. Today we are jumping into how you can work with AI agents using Crew AI. I'm going to show you how to get started without needing any prior experience with Crew AI or strong programming skills. Just a few small tweaks. We will take an idea and turn it into a working app with a bit of script adjustments. We will be using ChatGPT as our architect and the Crew AI framework to quickly build out the rest. And before we dive in, here's a quick tip. If you want to explore further, I've linked a couple of books on AI agents and Crew AI in the description. So check them out, they might be just what you need. All right, I've got a new project set up in Crew AI and it's basically like a hello world for Crew AI by default. So let's take a look at the key parts of it. And first up, we have the configuration section. And there are two main important files here, so one for defining the agents and one for tasks. And when it comes to agents, there are three main parameters you want to set every time. So those are role, goal and backstory. And of course there are more options if you want to get into fine-tuning, but for now let's see what we've got. So uh, role, uh, it defines the, what the agent does with the crew, and this sets the type of tasks the agent is most equipped to handle. Like here we have a senior data researcher and also we are using placeholder here as well. And then goal is the specific objective the agent is working toward and this drives the agent's decisions and actions. And the final is backstory and this adds context to the agent's role and goal. And this, this is making the interactions and teamwork more dynamic and engaging. And the same goes for tasks. So as a minimum we have to define two parameters, so those are description and expected output. And description is a straightforward, uh, concise explanation of what the task involves. And expected output is a clear definition of what the success completion of the task should result in. And uh, this is the description of the entities we are working with. So using the YAML file descriptions, we define all the agents programmatically here in crew Python. And that's where we define the whole team that's going to do the work for us. And if I go through the code, we can see that I have the same structure, just replicated it from the YAML. So we do have a researcher here. And initially uh, we are kind of importing our YAML file definitions. So we have agents config and tasks config. So we have a researcher who is an agent and we set it uh, config uh, from the YAML file. And also we do have some additional parameters here, also not everything, but some like here, verbose is set to true. So uh, when we run our system, we would be able to see the communications between different agents. And we do have a researcher here. We have reporting analysts. Uh, the same parameters. After that, we define the tasks themselves. And again, we are uh, we have the configuration for the task, which is taken from the YAML file. And this is very important, like uh, research task, as an example, the name of the task. And if I go to tasks, I can find the same task with the same name here, right? So here you need to be very careful that uh, your task names and uh, agent names are in correlation between Python code and YAML file definition. And for the task, we also define an agent, the one who is going to take care of the task. And in this case, this is our researcher. But again, this is hello world. It's not important for us as for now, right? And reporting task, it has output file, which is report MD. And finally, with all this information, we create in the, the bigger unit, which is our crew, the logical entity that's going to work uh, and do something useful for us. So here we are collecting all our agents, we are collecting all our tasks. Uh, we do have also some additional parameters that we are not going to look into today, like sequential process or hierarchical. It's... And once again, just remember uh, all this code I have. I have not written any single line of code yet. All this was created for me automatically by Crew, Crew AI when I created a new project, when I created a new empty project from this scratch. So all these were created for me as an example. Before we dive into working with Crew AI, let's take a step back and think about what we need. What's our goal here? And today we are going to create AI agents that will do research on a given topic and organize the results in a way that's ready for creating a presentation. So I'll provide a topic 
and I want to see a presentation plan broke down into slides. I need uh, explanations for what I should talk about on each slide and I also need some ideas for visualizing the information. So basically, what should I draw on the slides to make everything clear and easy to understand? Let's start by formulating our task. So I'm building an app using Query App and I need AI agents to help me with the following tasks. When a user provides a topic, the agent will research it online and create notes for a report. These notes should include a structured outline with explanations, breakdown into presentation slides, taking points for each slide and suggestions for what to show on the slides. And the agent should also consider the audience and use clean, easy to understand language. And could you please suggest how many users I would need and what each one should be responsible for? So here we have something, and uh, if you don't like the results, then, well, don't worry, you can always tweak things, right? It's chat GPT, so maybe you'll want to work out the details, discuss your concerns, or suggest maybe roles that might be missing from your perspective. But for now, as a demonstration, I am pretty happy with having three agents here, the researcher, the structure, and the presentation designer. So let's continue on that. So next step, we have to create somehow the description for agents and for tasks. And this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to uh, use the examples from Query create agent descriptions in the YAML format based on the roles, uh, on the suggested roles. And here I'm going to put the examples, which I'm going just to copy paste from the Hello World Query application. So here we have the researcher, which is the first example, and we have reporting analyst, which is the second example. All right, we do have something here, and just let me briefly see what's there. Okay, everything looks fine. And the next thing we need to do, we have to create tasks YAML. So we do exactly the same thing. So we are saying, uh, now using the Korea examples for tasks, this time create task descriptions in YAML and format the agents uh, uh, in YAML format for the agents you proposed. And again, we are going just to copy paste what we have in our Hello World. And let me put here the clear division from the examples. And put it here and we do have a First example for research task, and then we have second example for reporting task. And again, if you don't like the results, well, again, you can always tweak things. You can start the conversation asking ChatGPT to fix this and that thing, to make it a bit different, to take into account something, etc., 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 right? But for now, I'm going to, I'm happy with the results. So let's, let's call it this way. So I'm going to copy our agents. And I'm going to copy the task definitions we have from ChatGPT. All right, now that we've got everything set up, it's time to replace the default Hello World content with the custom agents and tasks we just created. So let's do this. We do have a researcher here already. Our next guy was structurer. And then we have one additional agent who was presentation designer. And then we have three tasks this time. So this is a research task. Okay, and here we have it. And researcher is responsible for that task. Then our structuring task. And who was that? It was structure. Uh, 
and this guy was not responsible for producing any I mean, do it this way so we have three tasks now and no output on the second task and the third one was presentation task so it's a presentation it's here and we do have report uh, as an output file and the one responsible for that is presentation designer so we put it here all right we are ready to start our application because we are finished here but before we continue there is one thing we need to tune as well uh, if you go to dot environment file it's a very important one because here we have to set up open api key this one uh, since our agents are supposed to look for information and do the research in the internet we have to provide a server api key and I already set the open model name to GPT for all mini. And another one thing I almost forgot about. So if you take a look at definitions, we do have placeholders here, like a topic, right? You have topic here and there and maybe in tasks. Well, like you know, but anyway, we have uh, placeholders which we have to fill in with proper parameters. And for doing this, you go to main Python file and here you have, you can see the outputs and this is our hello world crew ready to start working on something and taking inputs as a parameters. And currently we have topic already defined from hello world and this is AI LLMs. So let's keep it as is, right? It's, it's good enough for us. All right, so now everything looks good and we are ready to start our application. So how we can do this? Uh, it's very simple. We go to terminal and uh, I'm using poetry to run Python applications. So let's do it uh, this way. Poetry run and hello crew app and we'll see how it works. All right, it's finished. And interesting thing, we can see all the communication here happening between these agents. Uh, like, for example, we have an action input coworker that uh, there is a task, please convert this report to something else and using this format. And they're passing the information, pieces of information to, from one to another and generating the proper response. And you can watch all these things here. And finally, at the end, we have the, the plan for the presentation you can take. And uh, it, it, it has the overview, what's there. It has some visualizations. Uh, uh, some talking points and so you can work through and it's almost ready here right prepared for you and again if you don't like the results uh, and this is about tweaking so you go back to chat gpt and trying to change your uh, trying to change your tasks for agents and for tasks themselves and tuning it until you have the better the proper results but there how it's work and we have the result finally prepared and also if you're interested in the artifact that we have out from this work uh, remember that was the uh, that was the output file report md and I can see it here it was created and here we have some real like uh, result from working our three agents all right that's a wrap for today if you are curious about more videos on AI LLMs or agents check out my other videos here's the link and it's been Evgeny see you next time folks bye bye